Hello. In this study, we wanted to investigate how to best move through virtual reality if you also have to interact, which is fairly common, but hasn't really been studied as much. So walking is obviously the gold standard, but it's not always feasible. So we want to investigate whether uh, somewhat more embodied leaning based interfaces might actually help overcome some of the limitations of controllers and how locomotion and interaction might actually interact. To do this, we designed a new uh, dual task where you both have to locomote continuously through the environment while also constantly moving and popping these balloons that come up at a sound beat once per second. So we compared four different locomotion conditions, a handheld controller, head joystick, so you lean in the direction you want to go, a similar version where you're standing and walking. And translation changed from either using a thumbstick, seated leaning, standard leaning, uh, and stepping or walking. Rotations were always physically performed, so there's an increasing amount of embodiment in these four different conditions. Two were familiar, nobody was familiar with the leaning-based interface. Nevertheless, what we found is that the leaning-based interfaces clearly outperformed the controller, but walking was still very much the gold standard did a lot better. Uh, so the amount of embodiment really predicted the performance in our study. And even the pure navigation score, the Navi board still outperformed the controller. Walking was again best. And even in the interaction score, even though we only manipulated the locomotion mode, not the interaction, the Navi board still outperformed the controller. So walking clearly worked best, but leaning based interfaces really do have an effect, uh, even though we only uh, varied how you translate it. So in some leading based interfaces are quite promising and already outperformed the highly trained handheld controller, even in a challenging maneuvering and interaction dual task. That's it. Thanks.